Hey guys, technology and I are not being friends tonight, so uh, let's try this. This is like, anyway, moving on. Um, so solving inequalities is what we're doing tonight. So for review, I want you to just work out these problems really quick. You should have gotten for the first one, d equals 8.5, 8.5, however you want to write it. Second one, g equals 2, and the third one, r equals i divided by pt. So our essential question is how are solving inequalities different than solving equations? Um, so our objectives are to solve inequalities, graph them on a number line, and to write and solve compound inequalities. Your only vocabulary word for this lesson is a compound inequality. If you haven't heard of that before, it's just um, two different inequalities that are put together either with the word and or with the word or. Um, now I usually do like a hand thing. But and equalities always point towards each other, or inequalities always point away from each other. So and is going to have an overlap, that's true, whereas or is going to have a section that uh, is not fit, does not fit the solution set. All right, so we're going to be putting these on number lines, I believe. Yes. Okay. So. Um, I'm just going to make this really easy. Oops. I make this really easy and I'm just going to start by putting I hit the button. There we go. Start with these are all just going to be 4. Normally you're going to want to make, you know, more numbers than this, but this is just an example. All right. So, if I'm going to say something is greater than, that means it's more than. So, I'm going to start at 4 and go more than. If it's greater than or equal to, that means I'm going to start at 4. I'm going to include 4 as a possible solution and then make it greater than or equal to. Uh, opposite for less than, less than, I start at 4 and it's everything smaller than. Less than or equal to, I start at 4 again and make it everything smaller, more towards the negative direction. Hope you remember all that from Algebra 1. All right, so from a sentence, if I said five fewer than a number is at least 12. Okay, fewer indicates we're going to be doing what? Subtracting. And at least means we're going to have to be doing one of these, one of these, one of these, or one of these. So figure out which one you think it is. So five fewer than a number, so I have a number, I'm going to take five away from it, is at least 12. Okay, that means it's going to have to be greater than 12, but it could also be equal to. So my um, answer would be n minus 5 is greater than or equal to 12. Okay, go ahead and uh, pause it and try this one. So you should have n over 3 is no more than 15. So that means it should be smaller than or equal to. All right, so for um, graphing, solving and graphing, we're going to do the same thing as we would with an equation, except we're just going to um, include that extra step um, with the inequality part in the shading. So I'm going to start by distributing. So negative 6x plus 16 is greater than or equal to 4. Subtract 16 from both sides. So negative 6x is greater than or equal to negative 12. Now, here's the difference. When we multiply or we divide by a negative, if we're multiplying or dividing by a negative, when we change the signs, we must change all the signs. So I'm going to divide by negative 6. That means x is less than or equal to positive 2. Make sure that you change this inequality sign whenever you multiply or divide by a negative. I'm going to put this on a number line. 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so I'm going to start at 2. It's going to be open circle or a closed circle. It will be a closed circle. 
and then if it's less than, I'm going to go to the left. Okay, why don't you go ahead and do this one. All right, so I got x is less than or equal to negative 8. So negative 8, negative 10, negative 6. Okay, so if it's less than or equal to, I'm going to start at negative 8, make it a closed circle because it's included, and go to the left. All right, here's an example of how we can use these in real life. So a movie rental company offers two subscription plans. You can pay $36 a month and rent as many movies as you want, or you can pay $15 a month and then just pay $1.50 each time you watch a movie. So how movies must you rent in a month for the first plan to cost less than... Sorry about that. To cost um, less than the second plan. So here we go. We've got... Plan A, Plan B. So Plan A is 36, Plan B is 15, plus 150M. Okay, so you want um, how many movies must you rent in a month for the first plan to cost less than the second plan? So you want it to be less than. So go ahead and solve this. I got M is greater than 14. So you must rent at least 14 movies. That's about a movie every other day. So I don't know how many movies you watch, but that's quite a lot of movies. I think I would probably stick with plan B, unless I plan on watching more movies. Okay, go ahead and pause. I want you to try this one. All right, so this is how you should have set up your inequality. And then when you solve, X should be greater than 32. So you have to download 32 songs a month. Alright, so just like with the equations, inequalities can also sometimes, always, or never be true. So let's go ahead and solve this one. We're going to take and distribute this through. Get negative 6x minus 2 is greater than negative 6x plus 7. Can you see that we have the same number that we're starting with here, no matter what number we pick? If we subtract 2, are we ever going to have more than if we add 7? No. So this would be never true. What about this one? So I have 10x minus 15 minus 7x is less than or equal to 3x plus 8. Combine like terms, I get 3x minus 15 is less than or equal to 3x plus 8. Can you see how, again, we're starting with the same number, no matter what number we pick? If we subtract 15, is that always going to be less than when we add 8? Absolutely. So this would be always true. Why don't you go ahead and try this one? This is another always true. All right, and then here's where we get into our compound inequalities. For solving compound inequalities, you're going to get two separate inequalities that you will solve individually, and then you'll graph them on the same number line. So I'm going to start here by subtracting 1. So 6 is less than 2x divided by 2 divided by 2. Now, I always like to write x first because it's uh, helps me better understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to say x is greater than 3. For this one, x is less than or equal to 6. I'm going to take, I'm going to make a number line. Um, let's make this 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 5, 6, 7. All right. So I'm going to take and graph these individually. So if I have x is greater than 3, I'm going to start with an open circle at 3 and go to the right. But if I have x is less than or equal to 6, I'm going to start at 6 and make a closed circle and point it to the left. Now, when we graph these, you're only going to graph that part that overlaps, so this thing right here. So on your number line, 
do an open circle at 3, a closed circle at 6, and then you shade what's in between. So you're saying your set of numbers is everything bigger than 3 and that's less than or equal to 6. So it satisfies both of your inequalities. So I want you to go ahead and graph, uh, solve and graph this next one by yourself. I know you can do it. Alright, so for this one you should have solved it and got x is greater than or equal to 2 and x is less than 6. So you start on 2, it's inclusive, so you make it a closed circle. 6 is an open circle and you shade everything in between. So this is sometimes true because it has to be between 2 and 6. 2 inclusive, 6 non-inclusive. Alright, and last one is the or. Uh, so or is also a compound inequality. So we're going to go ahead and solve this just like we did the other one. Subtract 7. So k is greater than or equal to negative 1. And subtract 3. Oops. Nope. Oh, subtract 8. Just kidding. Um, k is less than negative 5. Okay, so we're going to take, put this on a number line. So I have... Alright, so I'm going to graph each one individually. So k is greater than or equal to negative 1, so I'm going to start at negative 1, make a closed circle, greater than goes this way. Okay, and then k is less than negative 5, negative 5 is an open circle, pointing to the left, just like that. Remember, or always points away. Okay, I want you to go ahead and work on this one. Alright, so when you do this one, you should get W is greater than 8 sevenths, which is, you know, 1 and 1 seventh, so greater than this way. It's less than negative 3, also an open circle, pointing this way. This is also an OR, which means we have the set of all numbers except for anything that falls in this range. It means from negative infinity, positive infinity. There's a lot of numbers in there. All right, here's your lesson check. Go ahead and answer these questions. Share them with your partner. Have fun. Your homework um, is lesson 1-5 on Math Excel, and I hope you have a great night.